everyone, it's Margaret Manning here. Welcome to 60 and Me. This is the place where women over 60 come to be inspired. My guest today is Jessica Janenga. Jessica is a fashion blogger. She has a brilliant site. It's called elegantlydressedandstylish.com. It's a lifestyle blog, really, as much as a fashion blog. She talks about all kinds of wonderful fashion trends and things that she loves. And um, I'm really happy to have you here with us, Jessica. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Happy to be here, Margaret. You know, we have a, a fairly large community of women over 50 um, who love fashion. Some don't, and that's okay too. But for those who do, I think we're always looking for ways to accessorize and, you know, use clothing that we've already got in fun right. and frivolous ways. And right. I wanted you to give us some thoughts on how you do that, how you accessorize your, your elegant clothing. I do love accessories. I, I don't know. I don't think I've met too many women that turn down jewelry. They <laughs> it's true. Pretty much. <laughs> we like the sparkle. That's something they love. Yeah. yeah. And so today I'm actually wearing um, oh, two wow. of my brooches from my collection. And very, very pretty. I love the idea of, um, I just love vintage brooches. I do think there's a lot you can do with them. Besides, this would be like a typical way of wearing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe just one, maybe wear a cluster. I had shown um, my jean jacket. Yeah, that was really clever how you, I thought you did with the jean jacket. You just put them in a cluster. Yeah, really, yeah. really cute idea. Thank and themed you. them with pearls. Who's got enough brooches, though, to theme a pearl brooch? <laughs> right. Still, it I, was really pretty. Yeah, that's a great idea. I might idea. be able to decorate an entire bag with <laughs> brooches I, I, that I have. I don't know. But um, that's, that's one way of wearing an accessory that it gives it a vintage vibe. They they are from like the 1930s and earlier, and I feel like they have a story as well. I so, love that. You know, yeah. I was I was actually mentioning earlier that um, Zara is a, is a store that we have around here. And I went in there the other day and I was really thrilled to see that there's like bling starting to like there's accessorizing their tops, you know, with little buttons and things. But right. I saw this beret that had a, um, a beautiful it was a beautiful brooch on it. And it mm -hmm. was like an angular one. And I reached for it and it was like 20 something dollars. And I thought, you know. I've got a, ber a beret at home right. and I just went, I went home and I have a beret. I wear black berets all the time. My beret I on. Love that. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. and so I just put the, um, the brooch on it, my little brooch. Right. So if you've got they a beret or a hat, you don't need to go out and buy anything. You can just put it on right. and enjoy it. Yeah. It's a, that's a great way to decorate a hat too. It makes it yes. more individual, yep. makes it more your own. It really and does. I love that. And I think that, um, you were talking about Zara I, I had seen in their store um, online that it was a choker, a an emerald bow yeah. um, in material, and uh, you could use satin, you could use yeah. whatever type of material you had, but make a bow Put the brooch. larger so that you wore it with like maybe a button down shirt, and it had a brooch in the center. So. Right. It just really nice. stood out to me. So brooches, we agree, are the, a great way to, uh, to make your clothes more elegant and personal and, and a conversation piece. They right. both, like you said, they have a story. So what about right. handbags? Because I know, I know that you're a handbag woman. I have a few, but you have more than me, I think. Right. <laughs> handbags, I am. Yes. I, I haven't gone. Um, some of the handbags I love, I do love like the Chloe handbags. Mm. Uh, I have a Balenciaga bag I love, too. Um, that one is for spring. It's more in a pink color. Um, I brought this one down for fall as I feel like it's a great plum color. Goes with anything. And it's by this company, Trije. They're a yes. designer company. Yeah. What I love is the ruffles. Yeah. Oh, you can see the ruffles. I couldn't quite see them because it's so dark. But, yeah. And then yeah. that really cool... Well, that's a really nice bag. And you've got like a braided top. It's, it's interesting. Right, the yeah. braided top. I, I feel like details like that are great. <laughs> yeah. But then I also love great leather. So that's the other thing. Well, that's the cool thing about accessories, isn't it? You can one of a kind. Right, right. I feel like this. I have another one that it's, it's uh, not a designer bag. That might not be your thing. But I do love... Again, it's about texture. Add, you can add texture with a bag to any outfit. Mm -hmm. Yep, for sure. Besides color, texture is another way to incorporate it. And oh, this wow. cute little was Zara. Yeah, that's and lovely. And I love brocade. And it came with these cute little pins on it. So that there you go. really sweet. Is that from this year? 
It's from last year. Last year, yeah. I haven't seen that, but that's a really pretty. And it's so delicate, too. It's got that little handle. Oh, it <laughs> is. It's a small nice. little bag, but it's fun. That's a nice, well, to go out in the evening or to a theater or show or, or anywhere, really. You don't have to have an event. Just go to the grocery right. store with it. <laughs> right, exactly. That's really yeah. sweet. So handbags are another great way to accessorize and make something more elegant. And what else have we got? Shoes. Uh, I do have a bit of a shoe collection now that I'm able to wear shoes. So um, I thought these were fun. They they do have a little bit of a boho vibe too going. But, I love uh, these I, boots. Oh my I goodness. Lace up, and thank goodness I don't have to lace them up because <laughs> I would be exhausted by then. What what are the heels like? I can't quite see the heels. Heel is just very oh, just a, small a, 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 It's like yeah. a cowboy boot until you keep going up and up and up. It's, right. And yeah. it's got the zipper on the on the side so you don't have to do the laces i was just but, i was telling you earlier that because I, I we saw, saw these boots before that i when i was a oh i don't know a hippie in my 20s i had a pair of black lace-up boots nice. right to the knee and every time they didn't have any zipper so oh, every time yeah. i had to go in the house i had to undo them and then zip them up or lace them up again yeah but i love those they have a their personality you. yeah and they are dance go so they are again another comfortable shoe company but stylish. Yeah, I think that's really important. Um, we've talked a little bit before about you have a, a medical condition that requires you be more thoughtful about the clothes that you wear. Um, right. But tell us just how that doesn't bother making something elegant in your in your wardrobe, comfort and well, elegance. I, there, there just are so many um, companies that are catering more to yeah. comfort and style um, together, especially with shoes. So I don't have to worry about having to wear anything frumpy, so to speak. Yeah. But that's that's the shoe department. And with the clothes I wear, I just make sure that it's going to be a comfortable material. Um, some of the clothes that I had talked about, Karina dresses being one, for example, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very comfortable to wear, uh, just easy to wash and no ironing. Um, that makes it easier on me altogether. Mm -hmm. um, as far as block heels, that's another great point about the um, shoes because it gives you a little bit of height. You feel a little more sassy and yeah, and so something I can wear without hurting my legs. I'm really glad that you, we're, we're raising this. We've talked about it in another video, but this is important for people in the audience. And I know we have a lot of women in our community who have some you know physical limitation, particularly with shoes. I mean, because your feet can have all kinds of complications apart from any right. other kind of medical situation. But it's I think what you're saying here is go for it. You know, find the things that you can wear because there are options now right and uh with shoes too i i gave another example of the jambu shoe with the block mm -hmm. heel mm -hmm. um, i'm not going to i have to be realistic i'm not going to walk a mile and a half around the shopping center <laughs> exactly. probably probably in the shoes but for me other people could certainly do that but it's really all about just being comfortable. You like to feel good and look good with what you're wearing. So I might just be going to a wine bar and sitting there. Yes. I might be doing something less, more sedentary, but I still want to look nice with the outfit I'm wearing. Yeah, I think it's really important too. I mean, you can always take a comfy pair of shoes in your bag, you know, just put like on right. some of those if you really want to just, but you're right. I think the clothes, especially the accessories, make you feel elegant in whatever way you define that. It's just right. like you said, put together, you just feel like sassy or whatever adjective you use yeah. there's a handbag a brooch or shoes mm -hmm. you know i really you feel like it's the manner it's it's mm -hmm. the manner in which you carry yourself too mm -hmm. is what being elegant is about yeah i totally agree with you well you are the epitome of elegance to me i'm so glad that we met and had a chance to share um our you know your story and your personal story and also your relationship with, with clothing and fashion. It's really been Thank inspiring. You. And if you want to let your readers know, I have two puppies who I love very much. <laughs> and my boy would love to see me right now, but you'll see him on the website, I'm sure. Okay, because I wrote this down. It's Gibson and Truffles. Right. I, Gibson love and Truffles. Name. I love these names. I love these names. Little sheet shoes. They are sweet. And actually, do you, do you dress them up? Do you put them in little coats and things? I think you do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I never thought I was going to be that person, <laughs> but I just like, I, I have a little, um, 
faux leather jacket for my boy. And it looks like um, he's about to get on a little cycle himself. It's so, so cute. I couldn't resist it. Well, I'm so, well, he actually could have come down, but I think we probably would have had him in the clothing and shoes and things you were showing. But yeah, go check out the the website. It's elegantlydressedandstylish.com. Fabulous website. You have been wonderful to talk to, Jessica. Thank you so much for your time. Really Thank you. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our 60 and Me YouTube channel and also visit our website. We are a strong and dynamic community of women over 60. We're challenging aging stereotypes and every day we share fascinating stories, interesting questions and great conversation.